Hi, I'm Filipa Carneiro from Lisboa, Portugal. To knit in the Portuguese style technique, we always wrap the yarn around the knitting pin or uh, around our neck, like this, and then we pass it uh, like a little ring here in the middle finger of our dominant hand, so in this case my right hand, and uh, we keep the yarn tensioned like this, so always uh, not pulling too much but keeping the yarn tensioned so you can uh, knit with just a small flick of our thumb. Let me show you here in a more detailed video how do we purl and how do we knit using the Portuguese style technique. I have the yarn tensioned around my neck and wrapped around the middle finger in my right hand. If it's a really thin or slippery yarn, you can wrap it twice like this. If it's a thicker yarn, um, you can leave it like this. It's all about you trying and manage to control the tension in the yarn. To purl, Portuguese style, we insert a needle from right to left, so pearl-wise, as, as in other techniques. Then with our left hand thumb, we wrap the yarn around the needle and that's it. That's a pearl stitch. So again, insert needle pearl-wise, with the thumb wrap it around the needle and so it's really easy because the yarn is already on the front of your work. So it's really easy to work the purl stitch. So again, insert the needle with the thumb, wrap it around and release. So again, insert needle with the thumb, wrap the yarn around the needle and then you slip the stitch. Okay. Now for the knit stitch, you have to insert the needle always below your working yarn. So I want to insert a needle below this strand of yarn and insert it in the stitch from left to right, so knit wise. But instead of going to the back of the needle, as in continental or English style knitting, I'm going to insert the needle, but the right hand needle always stays here in the front of the left hand needle. So instead of going uh, towards the back, you just leave the needle, the right hand needle, in the front of your work. Then you wrap the yarn, again using your left hand thumb, and there's a stitch. So again, Insert the needle from left to right, so knit wise, but keep it in the front of your work. Now, with the movement of the thumb, you wrap it around the needle and there's a knit stitch. So, the, the main difference is that you don't go with the needle to the back of your work, instead, you always keep the needle and of course the yarn in the front of your work. One important thing to consider when working knit stitch is that as you are knitting, this yarn always comes from here, so from the back side of your work, so always in the top of your right hand needle. So don't bring it to the front like this. So you, we always work the knit stitch with this strand of yarn here in the top of our right hand needle. So again, insert the needle knit wise and in the front of your left hand needle, wrap it around and that's it. And this is how you knit using Portuguese style technique. 
Another great thing to try when learning Portuguese style technique is stranded collar work. When you're working stranded collar work um, with this Portuguese style technique, the yarns never get tangled. So I have my main collar yarn on my right hand and the ball on my right side and my contrasting collar yarn tensioned around my knitting pin and on my left hand and the ball sits on my left side so it's impossible for the yarns to get tangled um, during the work um, we prefer purling so we often work color work from the wrong side so purling all stitches but you can use this this same technique and uh, knit all stitches so work your stranded color work from the right side so again in a more detailed video let me show you how do we work stranded color work in portuguese style technique so as i mentioned we like purling so we often work uh, this um, kind of patterns from the wrong side so always purling purling all stitches so knitting in the round but always purling so you can see the right side of my work is in the inside of my tube so I just have to grab the, the color of yarn I want to work so I have my main color yarn tensioned on my right hand and my contrast color yarn on my left hand and so I work two gray stitches now I need two red ones so one two and again two gray stitches so I always keep the dominant hand color yarn on the lowest part of my work and this is it so the yarns never get tangled and you just have to okay, with your thumb grab the color of yarn you need to work with and as I mentioned you can also use this technique to work your work from the right side meaning knitting all stitches so it's basically the same thing so I insert my needle to knit I grab the color I need and then here I need a gray stitch so with my thumb I go and I grab the gray yarn so now I need my red one so with my thumb I grab my red one knit two stitches and then the gray one so insert my needle as if to knit and then with my thumb instead of going for the red yarn I go for the gray one and for me another great advantage of learning a new knitting style technique such as Portuguese style knitting is that you can combine it so for example if you're a continental knitter you can work your main color yarn in continental style and your contrast color yarn in Portuguese style so I knit two stitches in red using Portuguese style technique and then I knit two gray stitches using continental style technique so this is a great way to manage stranded color work without tangle yarns because again you have one yarn on your right side and another yarn on your left side and it's really easy to combine the both, te both techniques and your work will be perfect so I hope you feel um, motivated to learn uh, Portuguese style knitting technique please reach with me if you need anything go ahead and look for my youtube channel I have tons of uh, Portuguese style knitting videos and I really hope that you give this technique a try and become a purling queen mm -hmm.